Jose, just got back from training. My legs feel a little bit heavy, but uh, you look good. The rest of the boys look good. Uh, how did you find it? Was it was a very nice day, very nice training, and uh, I enjoy a lot. And uh, what what you you think about the training today? Yeah, it was uh, it was good. The movements, like moving side to side again, were difficult. I actually felt like I was seeing the ball okay, but as the kind of session started to go on, my legs started to get a little bit heavier, and uh, you start to move around the goal a little bit slower. But um, no, it was. Uh, it was enjoyable, it was enjoyable, and I, used to, I think that was my favourite part about being a footballer, to be honest, is the actual training and training with the goalkeepers. I didn't even really like training with the, the outfield team that much. I'd yeah, rather do the, goal, the goalkeeper training part of it. Yeah, it's amazing, and it uh, was very good. I know I'm going to be biased from a goalkeeper's point of view, but you have been outstanding since you sort of come into Wolves and uh, the, the way that you've helped shape the team and that you influence on the team. How have you found coming into English football and joining the club. Thank you for your words. Uh, and uh, yes, uh, here uh, you have uh, the, the most beautiful football in the world. My opinion, of course. But um, yeah, in the beginning it was difficult because um, some expect, uh, like uh, I, I come to replace uh, Rui, mm -hmm. who is a very good goalkeeper. And uh, after, um, okay, take your number two, you know, a lot, uh, not a lot of pressure, but yes, uh, on the situation, on yeah. the, all yeah, the situation, yeah. yes. But, uh, but okay, after we have a good group and uh, we, um, we don't start very well with the results, but uh, we, we start with a very good football. Yeah. And after the results come uh, naturally and... Um, and for us it was good because we, we win confidence and um, and now we are playing what we, we know. I was uh, at the Villa game on, on Saturday and um, the, you came for a lot of crosses and it's something that seems to be an element of your game with the rest of the shot stopping, the, the distribution and handling. Is, is this something that you've worked on since you've been here or was that something that, that you've always worked on as a, as a kid and through Olympiaca? Yeah, I, I, I all the time, I, I like play out of the goal mm. and uh, I like when I go out from crosses and, and this, of course, you you work this and you improve and you have to, to be confident to, to go out because if you miss some ball, it's difficult. And uh, after come with naturally because uh, the team helped me a lot and uh, we read the game, the the action, and after you decide if you go, if you stay, and uh, hopefully uh, I, I'm okay on. Yeah, that. you took you yeah. took you took a lot of pressure on yeah. Saturday. I was in the crowd, and obviously it was getting a bit tense towards the end. And then you know it's a great feeling when you do come for that ball, and the, the crowd just settles and everyone just, just calms down. Yeah, Thank so you. Yeah, it you, was a difficult game. Yeah, you've, done a, you've been doing a good job. Uh, how about family and stuff about settling in? Because that's another thing coming from different countries and how we found yeah. that. Their family, they are okay here yeah. and they like because we have a very good group, you know, a, yeah. a lot of Portuguese and uh, uh, the wife of mm. uh, everybody uh, have uh, settled in, all the time are together. And for us, it's, it's good because um, give us tranquility you know to mm -hmm. to enjoy to play and to do our work because mm. uh, in Greece the weather is amazing yeah. all the time sun and yeah, uh, yeah. Athens is uh, you have yeah. the sea and we live uh, close to the sea and of course it's good but yeah. we didn't have a group like this so yeah. in Greece uh, all the time uh, was me my wife mm -hmm. and my daughter okay and here no here uh, we go to João Moutinho mm -hmm. house and Ruben Neves and we are all the time mm. with uh, with some some people, and for us this is good because they enjoy here uh, like this, and and we are more close than home yeah. if we need. And uh, this the, is good. the spirit seems really good around there. Just me coming back, I haven't been back for a while, and the sort of harmony of the team and and the staff. Can you explain a little bit more how how that is and what the team spirit is, is actually it's like? It's amazing. It's amazing. Uh, I, I I already said before like. Is one of the best group I had in my career because they are very here. The club is like a family club 
they they take care of our family if they need something and here inside is, is the same the people are very nice that's that's good to know that it's not changed i felt the same when i was here that it was a family club it was obviously a lot different to kind of what's going on now but I can feel that sort of atmosphere around there. And I know that we are doing well at the minute, but you can genuinely see it. Because I've been in good change rooms and bad change rooms, but this seems like yeah, it's, it's a good one. It's amazing, it's amazing. And uh, I think it's one of the, because we are doing what we are mm -hmm. doing in the league because of these two, yeah. because of the group, you yeah. know, because it's amazing and uh, we fight for everybody. Tony's been a big influence around the club. Have you, how have you found working with Tony and has that helped you adjust to yeah, sort of the speed well. of the game yeah. here? Very good work with Tony. I think, in my opinion, I I improve a lot, like because he is a good coach, but uh, he's a good guy, a good friend, yeah. and he talk with you about everything. If if he saw that you 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 feel something, and uh, he protect you, you know. And uh, for us, this is very good, and uh, help us a lot. It's important when you're in a you've got that sort of relationship with your goalkeeper coach and. You've got John Ruddy as, a, as your number two at the minute as well. It's, it's important to have that camaraderie for, for, for you because you're number one and rightfully so and you need the support, don't you? Yeah, it's amazing, John. It's amazing and it helped me a lot too because he work all the time on the, the limit. And for me, I think if I don't work like him, uh, he will play because here, like the coach say, play who, who, who was better, who, uh, who are better in the moment and who can help because uh, if I'm not, if not, I don't do my my job and my work, uh, okay, I, I don't play. Yeah. Uh, of course, the both can play, the, the team is uh, will be very good protect, but of course only one can play and, uh, but it's very important when you have some, some, some guy behind you who help you to improve and to be better. And I feel I feel this about John. We spoke about sort of your goalkeeping uh, training with Tony. Uh, what's the expectations uh, of Bruno, and what do you expect from you as a goalkeeper? Don't concede goals. <laughs> oh yeah, simple as that. <laughs> just, just kick out the net. Yeah, no, uh, he like to play, and yeah. uh, he, sometimes he he say to us to to change the the side, but keep playing, not to put the ball. Of course, we don't have nobody to play. We have to to kick, yeah. but. Uh, uh, to see the free space and uh, try find the the play free. Yeah, so he kind of leaves. Yeah, he, he kind of leaves you alone and doesn't put yeah. too much. No, 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 no. Yeah, uh, leave it to Tony leave, more. Uh, yeah, normally, yeah. normally is more Tony who talk with us. Yeah, uh, Bruno sometimes, but uh, normally is is Tony. Yeah, the, the team's been really solid defending as well. And what do you put that down to? Is is it uh, the training ground or? No, it's um, why the team is solid. Yeah. I think it's uh, all the team. We we defend very well. Of course, we had uh, some moments who, um, who who come a little of down, course, but yeah. this it is happens, normal. Yeah. In one season, it's difficult to be all the time on the top. But uh, yeah, I think the the most uh, important uh, aspect is like uh, all the team, all the team defend and all the team attack. Mm -hmm. And uh, after, of course, we have a very good defense. The people are defending very well, who help me sometimes. And uh, of course, like I say, if they miss, I'm there. But if I miss, they are, I know they are there for me too. How would, you, uh, how would you approach the games? Because you know that all goalkeepers are, have different approaches, but we're also known to be quite different to outfield players. And some uh, mm. goalkeepers really like rigid structures. Some uh, try to be super relaxed. What's, yeah. what's your... How, how was your process? Music. I always felt that I was, I was very structured and I, I needed the structure throughout the week. But everyone, what's, what's no, your approach? No, I was. I am very relaxed. I'm very like a, a funny guy, you know, yeah, like yeah. Very, all the time happy, smile. On the game is like only music. I before when I go to the bus, only music. Uh, when uh, and relax me, and after I go to warm up and I return, I listen a little more music. Yeah. And uh, after game, do you have your is do you have your uh, pre-game rituals of what you go through or the same routine every game? Like? So yeah, you spoke normally, about music and stuff like yeah, that. How important is that for no, performance? Yeah, normally I I do the the same ritual, but uh, it's not like uh, you know yeah, all, yeah. obsessive. Yeah, 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 not like this. But yeah, uh, yeah I uh, music and and this stuff, yeah. nothing more.
Yeah. Is there any difference uh, you in a goalkeeping terms from coming from other leagues in Europe yeah. and, and Portugal? Yeah, I, is what's the difference? Yeah, like coming I, into, into I the come league? from from Greece, and uh, it's a huge uh, difference because. Here the football is more intense and is more uh, speed you know, of the game. Yeah. As well, yeah. And um, and of course I come from one team who who fight all the time to be champion. So yeah. normally I don't have so many uh, actions in the in the game like uh, like here because here uh, we we fight we are fighting for the European competitions and uh, yeah. but here if you play against the last. It's difficult. It's yeah. uh, it's unbelievable, and, and uh, for us, for me, it's good because I like uh, have work and uh, yeah. I like help the team. How would you how would you find that? Obviously, you was in Athens, and uh, was you was you in Portugal before that? Yes, uh, before Porto. Athens. Like, I think. How would you find it moving from country to country? Because it's not something that English players do as often as the the the, the, the change. Uh, the change yeah, and okay. Stuff like that. For us. Uh, I think we, the Portuguese guys, have another mentality because mm -hmm. they they work in Portugal to go out, you know, yeah. because of course the the best football is out. Yeah. But uh, for us, it was okay. Like uh, we have to to be, and we we change and yeah. we adapt. Yeah, that's good. Talking about Portugal, the World Cups at the um, yeah. the end of the year. What what are your thoughts? What are your hopes? Uh, have you got your eye on? And, and playing uh, for Portugal now? Yeah, I, I'm. I'm fighting for for this. I'm fight, I'm fighting and work for for the call. And uh, mm -hmm. after we will see because Portugal in this moment have uh, very good goalkeepers, mm -hmm. like uh, five or six, and uh, everybody can can be called. And uh, so we have to work. And after the decision is the coach. Yeah, it's a uh, it's good. Healthy competition is good. Uh, at any at any club and any any nation and that, but it's also it's difficult sometimes to find your way in, and you have to kind of wait for your moment, don't you? And yes. How do you find? Yeah, yeah. He, like like uh, I talk uh, there with the goalkeeper coach because I broke my hand mm -hmm. like uh, two years ago when we played the second game against Olympiacos Wolverhampton. Okay, okay. To Europe League, mm -hmm. uh, I didn't play the second because I broke my hand. And I, I I go out from the squad in the national team, and I stay like some some months. Yeah. And uh, after I have to work again to to be back to the squad, and um, it's like this. After you have to wait and uh, see uh, one opportunity, and you have to catch her. So uh, obviously you've made a, a lot of saves in the season. What's your kind of favourite moment? And I'm, I'm not sure if you actually remember saves. I know all of us are different, but what's your favourite moment or favourite game or favourite result of the season so far? Favourite result? Yeah. The, the favourite result is when we <clears throat> when we win. Yeah. This is the, the favourite result. I, I don't I don't mind if we, we win like half zero. Yeah. Three points is three points. But uh, I don't know. How do you like all, all the saves? They are important yeah. because even if you if you do a, a, a easy save, mm. sometimes for the team it's good to 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 give uh, confidence and uh, to to know the goalkeeper is there. I, I can say like Manchester United out because we won one zero and that save uh, on the the free kick in the last minute was important for us. Yeah. Last game, I did uh, okay, good saves too, but yeah. Thank you for today, really appreciate it. Uh, appreciate being able to join in training. Come more times. Yeah, well, we'll see how the legs are, but thank you very much for that, man. You're welcome. Thank you.